In my quest of documenting alternative building technologies on this channel, I came across Jijenge, a company that recycles plastic waste into beautiful decorative paving bricks. And behind this innovation is Nzambi Mate, a material scientist and the founder of Jijenge Makers. This is a bit about recycling. Is you see it, once you see the process and you see the trash in the dump site, and then you sit down and you look, and then you see the finished product on the on the on the market and in the use. There's just some joy to it. There's 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 some excitement to it. So, in this video, she'll take us through her genius idea and show us what her recycled plastic papers are all about. And just as a disclaimer, this is not a sponsored video. With that, let's discover Nzambi's story. Ladies and gentlemen, hi guys. Um, it's Nzambi. Nzambi from Jijenge Makers. Limited and today I'm with uh, Nick, Nick Mwema from Property Loma and um, I'll take you through what we do and, and give you just a brief overview of where we are, where we were or rather where we are from, where we are at and where we are heading to. I'll take you through a, a, a brief tour of what we do and then I'll also take you to the last part which is the installation site of some of the works we do. And so with that said and done, hi, my name is Nzambi, Nzambi Mate, founder of Jijenge Makers Limited. Jijenge Makers is an alternative building product manufacturing company. We are based here in Nairobi, Kenya, in industrial area. And in terms of existence, we've been in existence for seven years. But in terms of operation, we've been in operation for five years. The journey all started with um, a question of what if, what if I could, I could convert plastic into something useful, what is? And this what if came after um, a series of thinking and a series of speculations because my thinking, my the speculation came when in my other life I was in oil and gas in, in business and I was in the upstream department. What that means is you are in, uh, in the department where we extract oil, crude oil from the ground. And as you know, plastic is a byproduct as a, as, as a result of refinery process of crude oil. And so because of that, being in that space, I was able to study and understand plastic um, not only from its material point of view, but also from its application point of view. And one thing that really fascinated me is at one point in time, in the maybe early 30s, 40s and 50s, plastic was a cutting edge technology. It revolutionized the logistic industry altogether. The, the cost, the, the unit economic cost drastically reduced simply because of this one material. Now the challenge comes decades later and centuries later, um, you find uh, we, we didn't think of the afterlife of this material that stays long and takes long to, to decompose. And so that's where my, my thinking and my belief is because it was once upon a time as a scientist uh, cutting edge breakthrough, once again it should be a scientist to figure out what the life after is. And so with my background in material science and technology, I decided let me try something. And that's how Jijenge was born. As you know, Jijenge comes from the term build yourself, and that is what we drive and pride ourselves. Everything we have in house here, we build ourselves. And we ourselves as a team want to also build ourselves, not only to be the best within the alternative industry, but also to be the best at what we do. So we headed to the back of the factory where Nzambi showed me the best types of plastic she uses to make the paving bricks. And the beauty about this is that what we see as trash at the dump site Nzambi sees it as a gold mine. Okay guys, so behind here, this is the back end of the facility. And I'll show you the first stage. And this is the first stage. So ideally speaking, this is plastic waste from the truck. This particular one we collected from Dandora dump site here in Nairobi. And we collect all sorts of plastics, mostly in the packaging space. So we have containers. We have uh, also be, uh, both for fast foods or for foods and also for chemicals. Um, we also have soap, so anything within the packaging industry that ideally speaking goes for the four categories. So in packaging industry, we have seven categories. We have HDP, LDP, PP, PET, PS, uh, PVC, and number seven is everything else. And so, for example, the, the, the names are actually the scientific names of the plastic components. So, for example, what I have in my hand, this is HDP. HDP full is high density polyethylene and this is a, a really dense plastic. So in terms of MFI, MFI is melt flow index. So this ideally speaking is when you melt plastic, there's that stretchy, stretchy part that you get when it melts. This has a very high of that. Um, this one is, I think, PP if I am not wrong. 
Yes, I think this is PP. And this one is mostly for packaging. So technically this one and this suffice perform the same thing, but this is more dense than this. And also when you get your takeouts, this is the material that the takeout containers come from. So what you see behind me is what you call post-consumer plastic waste. Post-consumer plastic waste is from the dam sites, from the environment, from the households. And then come I show you what you call the post-industrial plastic waste. Follow me. Okay, and now this is what you call post-industrial plastic waste. This comes as a result of the production facility um, processes. The, the beverages, the rejects, the, the ones which break along the lines. Like for example, this is one of the companies you work with. This is one of the companies you have in PR partnership. London distillers, they make different beverages, both alcoholic and non-alcoholic. So we collect plastic waste from them and combine this, the post-industrial plastic waste, with the post-consumer plastic waste. And that's the first process of the production. Now that we have the plastic waste as the raw material, the next step is production. So let's see how the Jijenge team transforms those plastic bottles, wrapping materials, and other types of plastic waste into the beautiful decorative paving bricks. So once we take the plastic waste, both the post-consumer and the post-industrial, we crush them into small flakes, like what you see in my hand. Um, the idea is just to reduce the surface area so that you can be able to process or rather melt it very fast. Because when you have a low surface area, the melting process is faster. So here in this mixed basin, we mix it with sand and glass and plastic. So the sand, in a normal um, concrete mixture, we have maji, Changarawe, Smiti, na Kokoto. Una mix na kwa koroga. Iyo inito Portland concrete. So what you have here is polymer concrete. So it's the exact same thing, but the difference now is instead of cement, it's plastic. So once you take it there, we feed it here. This is called an extruder. We feed it here. When you feed it here, it mixes the sand and the plastic together. This comes out as a, as a Play-Doh like thing. Kama ilo ugali ugali. Also when you need color, that's the stage where you add color. And then after that, it goes through this process. This ideally speaking mixes it, mixes it, mixes it. And then the final product, this is the final product. So this one is, so this one is um, ideally speaking what you call polymer concrete. It's very hot. And uh, this is now everything there mixed together to form this. This one doesn't have color, but if you want color, that's where you add it, okay? After that, you take it, you weigh it, depending on what product. Different products have different uh, uh, kilos. So this is the stage where you decide what product you are producing. And then after that, we come here. This is called a hydraulic press. You put, uh, you put materials here. When you put the materials here, it, it presses it. This is where it gets the shape and form. So as you can see right now, there is a batch inside that is already depressed. So it comes out to the whatever shape. So if you want, to make it whatever shape, form or size, this is the stage where you change everything. If you want to make boards, you change that mode. If you want to change blocks, you make that mode. So all that part, this is a platform change. So yes, after some time, so this is the plastic that is already pressed. So as you can see, it has overflows. So all it needs is just finishing and the brick is be good to go. So once we take it from here, we put it in water. The reason is because once it comes here, it's still very hot and we need it to bring it to room temperature. And so we put it in a cooling bath. After that, we do finishing. And after finishing, this is some of the final products. And so now this, this is ready to go to site and be used for whatever purpose you want. So follow me, I'll show you some of the sites and works we have done. Come. So yes, and this is the final product. This is the last stage of the whole production process. What you see beneath me and around me, this is the final product. Um, so this is a, a parking area. It's an industrial parking area. So ideally speaking, when you make the pavers, you have three sizes. No, you have four sizes. You have the small duty, which is ideal for households and footpaths. We have light duty. Light duty is for areas where you have like homesteads, where you have light vehicles. You have medium duty, where we have right now. This is medium duty because this is a commercial residence. This is a go down. So we have heavy trucks for the likes of trailers passing here. And then we have heavy duties. 
Now this is where for the roads, where you have more, more traffic and heavy machinery passing through. And so really excited. For example, this whole um, space, this was 195 square meters in terms of dimension. And this took about seven tons of plastic waste, plus minus around there, seven tons plastic waste. So this is a bit about recycling is you see it once you see the process and you see the trash in the dump site and then you sit down and you look and then you see the finished product on the on the on the market and in the use there's just some joy to it there's there's, there's some excitement to it so this uh, even if some some days every day as a human being you have some bad days you have some good days but having seen work like this it's very fulfilling putting into consideration that this was trash literally on dump site and voila we have it. So once the site is done, I'll send you a fully complete work and you'll see the good part. So with that said and done, I'm really excited for this new journey. We are starting to make building blocks because right now we've been doing pavers. Now we'll move to building blocks. And that's really my ex uh, the excited part because we want to see also what impact we can put in the housing space exactly. And I'm really excited for that new phase in, in, in our product process and in our business. And also the impact, the impact of people. I, I like the, the joy the customer has when they see the finished product. And I would want to see the joy when someone has their own house made from our product. And I think that will be fulfilling. If nothing else, I believe that will be a purpose that my creator put me here for. The parking project wasn't 100% complete during my visit and the works were still ongoing. With that said, there are different types of bricks you can choose from depending on the thickness or the color you want. The thickness of the bricks will determine their use case, like for example, for footpaths, parking bays, roads, and even ports. Pricing of the pavers is per square meter, and a square meter takes about 39 to 40 pavers, so keep that in mind. I've also attached the pricing catalog in the video, so you can pause that section to read the details. Here we have in front of me is an array of some of the products. Uh, we have arranged them in different sizes. As I said, in, when you are doing the site visit, different sizes have different purposes. And the difference is the thickness. As you can see what you have here, what varies is the thickness. The surface area remains the same. And the thickness is what it allows it to carry a, a bigger load. So this carries bigger load than this. So in terms of performance, this is the one for footpaths. This is the small duty. Um, this one is the medium, uh, so the light duty, sorry. This one is for drivers, for households. Um, this one, these two are the same sizes. And then we have this one, this is the medium duty. This one is for like what you saw in the site. This one is mostly for commercial areas. Um, places where you have relatively uh, heavy traffic like uh, counters and heavy trucks. And then this one is also good for commercial and mostly industrial areas because this one carries up to about 100 metric, uh, 100 newton millimeter square. So this is about 100 tons plus minus around there. I, I'm getting the numbers wrong, but I know it's uh, uh, close to 100. This is 100, this is 150, this is 200. Yes, in terms of carrying capacity. So this one is good for factories, for, uh, trailers. And then this one, the Jumbo guy. This one is good for super heavy trucks. So an ideal use case for this would be like ports, like in the port areas, both the inland and the uh, port areas in Mombasa, because they have so many heavy uh, goods with heavy, and there's trucks that are really heavy. So this would be ideal use for that. And so depending on different sizes, we have uh, different prices. So the price starts from 988 to 86 per square meter. All of them, one square meter enters 39 pieces, 40 to 39 pieces. So this one goes for 100 and, 986, and this one goes for about 2,100 per square meter. So the different colors, different sizes. Also, as you can see, this is what we call natural. This is what we call uh, yellow slash gold. Um, this one is also ashy. This one is earth because of the red. This has a really nice touch, especially if you put areas where you have red soil. This is really nice. And this one is uh, green. This is leafy because of course of the touch but you can get different shades and this one is a uh, dark blue this is ocean blue and this is light aqua so yeah so these are some of the works we do i'm really excited um in terms of uh, uh, investments we are in the process of looking to close our seed round 
Um, and uh, yes, we're looking for partners both in the financial space, in the strategic space, the strategic partners within the uh, logistic space. Anyone who can help us build this solution and actually create more impact. Because what you see in front of me is approximately what? On plus minus about 35 tons or 35 kilos of plastic waste. If I could carry 35 kilos of plastic waste, it would be like this. But we've been able to shrink it to give it purpose. And for me, that's as a, as a scientist and a material scientist, this is what I'm really excited. Giving uh, materials another purpose, another life. Because the, pl the plastic in here still has performance and this is what it's used for until it's able to, to wear off. And also the best part about this is once this wears off or when once we finish doing installation, we cut with a grinder and then we reprocess the main part and we make another block. And so the, in the future we see if they wear out, we take them, we process them and make new blocks out of it. So the product becomes really cyclic in nature. So yeah, thanks so much. And uh, if you have any questions, if you have any feedback, get in touch with us at Jijenge underscore makers. So Jijenge, remember, it's with a G, not a J-I, it's a G-J. So Jijenge underscore makers on all our social media platforms. Uh, if you have questions, uh, we'll be there. Apologies for the back, uh, back and forth delay because of the feedback on DM, but we're working on that. I had so much fun making this video and learned a lot from Zambi and her team. And I hope you did the same too. Her idea is so unique and innovative. And that's before you realize how her project helps to reduce the plastic waste menace that is destroying our environment. If you have a project in mind and you are thinking of using concrete pavers, why not try these plastic ones instead? Not only are they at least two times stronger than the concrete pavers, but also you'll play a role in conserving the environment. As for me, I'll continue to document more and more alternative building technologies on this channel to create awareness and to help you understand that you have options in terms of building materials. I think it's always good to have options to choose from before you embark on your project. To get in touch with the Jenge, I've left their contacts in the description. And in case you want to ask me something, you'll also find my contacts in the description below. So I'll leave you with Nzambi's parting shot. And as for me, I'll see you in the next video. So I think my parting shot to everyone who's um, environmentally conscious um, and to everyone else also. I understand um, sometimes matters environment come in second or third because when you lack the basic needs, the food, shelter and clothing, of course you will not have time to think about the environment. But with that said and done, we are the custodians of this earth. We as a human race. We all agree to, we are all here for our purpose. And our purpose is to make sure that once we, we are able to go through this journey of life, we are able to leave this earth for the next generation better. But what is happening right now is the opposite. And so it's our duty as a current generation to clear up the way and to make a process in place to be able to recycle. And not just make recycle fancy or make recycle um, niche, a niche product but to make recycling a mass product, make, make recycling products affordable so that it can be able to be engraved in our systems. Therefore, we go back to the old ways where there's a whole cycle. Once the product is extracted, it's consumed, there's a, there's a life cycle of the byproduct and so on and so forth until it completely degrades. And so my belief is as custodians, it's our duty to take care of this earth, if nothing else. And for everyone who's an enthusiast, in, like an environmentalist and an environmental enthusiast, no matter how small you do it, just do it. Like really just do it. Because haba na haba, ujaza kibaba. And so with that said, Anand, thank you so much for joining me. I've been Zambi Mate, fond of Jijenge. And shout out to Nick Mwema. Good work. See you.